Hey everybody, it's good to uh, be with you tonight. I wanted to take a quick moment to highlight a uh, what seems to be a crowd favorite. It's really one of my favorite hybrids. Uh, this is Nepenthes uh, Sibuensis by Moreliana. Um, as you can see here, it's kind of mixed in with my Rob Cantley. Eye. We've got a new pitcher that is about to open in about a couple weeks. And of course, you've seen this one on the shorts. Um, it's out there. Uh, there are two different types of clones that this one is made out of Borneo Exotics. Um, this particular clone is known for its deep cherry red pictures, as you can see here. Um, and they get absolutely enormous. Bergen Water Gardens has one that is an adult, and that pitcher is just like, I don't even know, 16 inches tall. You could probably fit a gallon of water in it. It's absolutely enormous. You can see it, it takes on the growth pattern of the Sibuensis. Sibuensis tend to grow very clustered and centered together uh, and stacked. And they have this very Sibuensis sort of leaf going here. But the Merliana really comes in when you start looking. I mean, the Sibs are obviously very fat and the, the peristone ribbing in, I don't know if you can see here, but the little uh, little points on the peristone, those are also from the Sibuensis. The Merliana is really going to give it that size. Anything really mixed with Merliana is going to get big. Um, because it is a mixture of a uh, highland and a lowland, it is very tolerant of a wide range of conditions. I have been growing this one for about a year and a half, um, and I grew him from, or him or her, I don't know yet, from a very small uh, seedling. Um, my experience with this, it does take a little time to get uh, situated and locked in, but once it does, it really, in the past six months, has made some huge gains. Um, and also with these pitchers, like when you first get it, you think, oh my goodness, it's going to be absolutely enormous. This is so exciting. The pictures are so, so tubby and tiny at first. And you're like, oh, well, it's a little underwhelming. Um, but it is true what they say as they get uh, mature and start building on, they start putting on appreciably larger and larger sizes. Um, it's also, and this is probably the best part, a very inexpensive plant. Um, I got this particular one from Carnivero. Um, sorry, it's very hard to get a, an angle in this tent. Uh, I got this one from Carnivero. Uh, I think I, it was like 20 bucks. So nothing, you know. Um, it, it takes time for it to grow. You're going to get it small. But for me, that's rewarding. I like to see that happen. So um, it is, I think, good for a, a beginner. Uh, as long as you can give it the moderate conditions it needs. Uh, and certainly for the price point, you can't beat it. You're not going to get a bigger uh, pitcher plant for the price. So hope you enjoy it. I know everybody seems to love this. I certainly love it. Um, Nepenthes Sibuensis by Marilliana, uh, and we'll keep an eye on this one because it will get absolutely enormous. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.